your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. What? What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? What? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all! Well, m maybe. Finally! I can resign myself back to my glorious history. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. Yes, well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ha! We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person. Not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me an orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep! Right after I take a nap. Yes! Uh, what? Nap? Uh, war is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you, just as soon as I... I, uh... Oh, man. Hey, Fred. What? No. So, did you not see a girl come through here? Handsome, I'm not the stage director. I don't track the entrances and exits. Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Control of this production. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. If you can get Benita to take the stage again, then you're the star of my show, kid. Everything under control there, Becky? 
Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too mean to wake up. Got it! Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. So, I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. <laughs> They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. <laughs> So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. So, are you ready for your big number? Did you put a candle in that spotlight and light it yet? No, but I'm about to. So, uh, five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sonny. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs>
need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. How can I light that candle? Look alive, people! Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage! Flower girls, in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress! In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical... Sunshine Shenanigans! <laughs> and where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine! The spirit of her youth, played tonight, once again, by Bonita Soleil! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me! Not again! <gasps> the Phantom! I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse, improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Wahaha! <laughs> ha Welcome to Haggath the Home School for Girls where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wah ha ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Boo hoo hoo hoo! There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. 
It's time to suffer for your art. Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice, for spring has besatten upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering! Anita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Benita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines! On a shoe! She should quit now, while well, she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars! If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Hey, what's this? A new script? 
night of joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow. Boat ain't coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. Watch it. a good grip. Oh, another script? The day the mailboat finally came? Uh-oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Places, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the mail, but approaching. Ah, oh, it was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl.
Archer and rumored lover, must I truly ship my only daughter, Gloria, off to Hagatha Homeschool for girls? Yes, and immediately, before she ruins our career. I mean, your career. No! Never shall I go! Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes, and I shall mail the letters myself, personally. Ha <laughs> ha! Watch it! Goodbye, Hagatha home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, Props, is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you want to get up to the catwalks. And... action! Whatever is wrong, little girl? Well, my family has left me alone in a bad, bad place for many years, and I don't know if they will ever come back for me. Aw, oh, don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you, and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. My dear, beloved daughter, we have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. a leg. Not welcome here. <laughs> this is my sanctuary.
You are not welcome here. This is my sanctuary. Come no closer, or it will be the last thing you do. I am. I see you down there. Look out below! <laughs> You are not... This is my sanctuary. Come no closer. I am yep. the Phantom. This is my sanctuary.
How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. Anything but that. No, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering. No yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. 